morning, boys and girls. I can hear you well. Good morning. Do you hear them? Good morning. Great. Great, great, we hear you. How are you today? I hope you have been having a great day so far. Haven't you? Is it a great day for you today? Yeah. It's a special Sabbath today. Special Sabbath. It's a family worship today. So, to begin with, I want to show you some scientific experiment. But before that, would you tell me, please, what do you know about balance? What does balance mean? You, you can balance how much food you eat and nature. Okay, good. What else you know about balance? You can balance on a balance beam. Ooh, good, good. What else? I saw some. Um, balance means equal. Oh, great, great. It sounds so great. What else? Another, um, another kind of balance is like when you're doing a flamingo. You're oh, like... oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So I think you know about a lot about balance. So right now is the time for the experiment, scientific experiment. Are you ready? But I want to aware your children Please, don't do that experiment by yourselves without adult control, okay? If you're interested in it to do it at home, just ask your parents, older brothers, grandpas, grandmas, some other, okay? So let's do that. So let's move on, children. What am I demonstrating this experiment for you in asking these complicated questions about a balance? Because today I want to talk with you how to have a balanced life. What does it mean? Jesus. Oh, yes, one side of the balance is Jesus. So. Can you imagine, for example, we don't like to eat veggies. Who likes to eat veggies? Good. Who likes to, who likes to eat candies or kind of sweets? Oh, I know everyone has a sweet tooth. That's, that's great. But if we choose to eat veggies, we make very big, very big deal with our body because we give our bodies very good building blocks that keeps us healthy and strong. Am I right? One more. If we're thirsty, how do we balance all of this out? With water. Yeah, we just go and drink some water. If we work too much and we get too tired, how do we balance that out? You go to sleep. Yeah, we just go and have good nights of sleep. Do you see, children? Everything that we do must be, must have a golden balance. And how about right now, about 
our relationships with God? Should we have some time for our gods in our lives too? Or just we should work, work, work? Should we have time for praying? Should we have time for talking with Jesus? What do you think about that? We should have time to talk to Jesus. Of course. You know why? We should have time for both. Yeah, that's, that's a balance point. We have to have time for both. Time for work, time for sleep, time for pray. This means what? Balanced life. Who can give us wisdom to live this life? Jesus. Of course. We have to find time to pray, to talk to Jesus, and he will give us very nice advices how to live. Also, we have our parents. They have a wisdom too to help us to live very nice, long, and balanced life. So right now, I invite you to pray. Who wants to pray and ask God to help us to be strong and balanced life? Okay. Let's try to pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the Sabbath day. Thank you for everything you made for us. We love you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, children, for being so nice listeners. And today there is no worship. You can enjoy your parents at your seats. Thank you.